All right, so I thought I'd do some uh, demonstration cuts with this uh, nibbler. So I got some hot rolled steel here. It's 2.93 millimeters thick. I'll just see what this is in uh, Imperial. So it's 0.115 inches. And this uh, nibbler here is rated at 3.2 millimeters of mild steel. So this is kind of right at the limit. I wasn't able to really figure out if it could cut mild steel or not, or like hot rolled steel, but it certainly was able to cut the equivalent thickness in uh, this is what they call mild steel, which is a, this is a softer, in my opinion, compared to this, it's fairly rigid. So I really don't know if we'll be able to cut this or not, and uh, we'll just have a try. So the two things I'm looking at is the uh, ability to cut this and also the uh, quality of the cut. So I've got a straight edge here which is just some uh, stainless strap. So uh, this is just an on off and I'm going to try to uh, follow here. See if it's dull or if there's an obstacle in the way here. It doesn't seem to be an obstacle. I'm just going to try to come from the other side now. It was certainly cutting the other material quicker. Now backing out of here might be a bit of a challenge as well. Interesting. Probably better to go all the way through. like it's fairly straight. All I did was uh, had to add a half an inch to my measurement to make up for the uh, width of the throat. So I bought this at an auction. I don't know if uh, it needed to be sharpened or not when I got it. So I'll move it forward here. So that's interesting. By going uh, across each way, I ended up with a fairly wide jog in the cut. I didn't measure to see if the width was the same from both sides. So it's starting to warm up a little bit here on the cutting edge. But uh, it seems that if you put a bit of pressure on it, it will go. I don't know if you can see the uh, cutting edge on there or not. It doesn't go super fast. Take this thing off here. So you can see I ended up with a, a jog. I don't know if uh, my clamps move, it's quite possible. 
but we've got a pretty straight cut. Unfortunately, it came from both ends, but that's uh, part of the learning process. You don't know what's going to happen, but you can see that the cut is uh, straight enough. Sorry, there's a light in the background there. Might be able to get it from this side a little bit better. So for what I want to do, that's way better than trying to use a grinder to cut this or uh, a torch or something like that or a plasma cutter. This gives a pretty good result. So uh, we'll see if we can cut something else next. All right, so I just checked my cut and there is a bit of uh, waviness to it. So I think that my clamps were moving. Would need to do that better next time if I wanted to get a better result. So I'm just going to try to cut this uh, piece of uh, steel here again that I cut before just to see whether this is uh, being dull or not. Alright, so I'd say that's cutting the same as it had been before. So we didn't really get any dullness of the blade by doing that cut. And uh, the last thing we'll take a look at here is some uh, stainless steel. I think this is about uh, two millimeter. I'm just trying to see my measuring device here. So it's uh, 0 0.073 inches and uh, 0.174 millimeters. So it's not quite 0.2. So this is another handy thing but instead of getting out the grinder, because you wouldn't really be able to cut this with tin snips, is that uh, we'll just try to snip this off now. And again, absolutely no problem cutting that off. So uh, now I'm going to grab uh, another tool I have for cutting sheet metal and we'll take a look at what it's capable of. All right, so now we're going to try to cut this with a Milwaukee shear. So they have a, a couple of versions of this. This is the uh, 2636 shear. It's uh, rated for two millimeter mild steel or 14 gauge. So this here is uh, 18 gauge. And I found that you can kind of cut um, round details, but you don't have much control. And you get kind of bound up as you're going when you use it. So I'm just going to try to cut straight. All right, so I cut that fairly well. I'm just going to pop around the other side and try to cut this 0.175 uh, stainless. Hopefully I don't damage this thing because I'd say it's over its uh, rating. But we'll give it a shot. And uh, in fact, I was able to cut it without too much trouble. If anything, the uh, hardness of that steel makes it a little bit easier to cut than the uh, mild steel. So that's just uh, cold rolled steel there versus this is all, this is 308 stainless steel from a food processing plant. So uh, these are all right, but you can't set up a guide to go straight, which I've proven is the same more or less with this. I haven't been able to find a manual for this uh, nibbler to see if there's a shoe that you could put on it for, for to provide uh, more stability for cutting straight. But uh, I'm kind of in favor of using a nibbler over this uh, Milwaukee shear, and then both of them over a grinder, depending on what you're trying to do for detail work. Because there's no consumables with these. I can keep sharpening this until it runs out of depth and it can't cut through the metal anymore. Then you have to get a new uh, blade for it. And then this, I think I can buy new pieces for it as well. They make a uh, smaller Milwaukee shear that allows you to uh, have more maneuverability, but I don't find that these are very maneuverable. There's another type that's like a, a single-sided shear where it just like cuts like a scissor, and apparently there's no waste with those, and they can do some different things, but Milwaukee doesn't offer that tool. So hopefully in the future they do go about doing that. But I just wanted to show you the comparisons uh, between those two tools. So thank you for watching.